Hello friends, welcome to the studio, it's Vin Jelly here and today I'm going to be painting a German Shepherd dog. When I was a kid, the German Shepherd or Alsatian as we called it then, was quite a sort of powerful dog, a guard dog, a dog to be feared almost. And if ever I saw one as a young child out in the street, I was quite scared by them. But uh, they're a beautiful dog and I love the thick coat that they have and the um, alert look on their faces um, like they're ready for anything and yet they're quite uh, nice natured often so I've laid it out in my usual way by doing the drawing on a, uh, another piece of paper and transferring it on to the watercolour paper to save the surface from any rubbings out I uh, wanted to keep the drawing quite linear to describe help me to describe the shape of what was going on um, the camera that you're seeing this time-lapse on does have a little bit of curved distortion. If you look at the overall picture, you can see the way the um, palettes are curving off to the side and that makes the painting look slightly narrower than it actually appears in real life. Um, so apologies for that, that's just the camera. And anyway, I start with cool washes of cobalt blue to establish a few cools and those um, a nice underpaintings for the warmer uh, fur tones and the darks as well to sit upon and uh, some of the fur is actually quite red in places in terms of paint anyway um, in order to establish the kind of deep warm browns so I was painting pure um, red, I'm not quite sure which pigment it was, I think it was Windsor red in this case, onto the dog's head there to try and get the depth just like under that ear on the right there and above the eye. And uh, the dark area I, I particularly struggled with because there wasn't a lot of information um, in the photograph. The light was fairly flat on this particular photograph so it was quite a tricky uh, thing to try and manage the form. I was particularly tired, I hadn't slept much the night before and didn't feel a lot like painting but uh, in a way I did and once I got going things were fine so um, this was a little bit different. I wanted to get a bit more background into this painting than some of the other dog paintings that I've done just to try and emphasise the light on top of the head a bit more and have something to contrast it with and to see if I can take the background a little bit further than some of the pure portrait studies that I've done. So you can see it's starting to take shape now and I'm softening out some of the areas on that left hand side ear because I found it was just a bit too distracting when it was more in focus. So it's nice to play with focal points and vary the focal uh, points a little bit and have some soft areas bleeding out into the background especially with watercolour as that medium really lends itself to playing with these effects and with focus so um, if you enjoyed the video uh, please 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 subscribe the more people who see the videos the more subscribers I'll get and then I'll be able to make longer videos and more people will see them hopefully which is very satisfying since they take quite a while to make and um, thanks for those of you who've subscribed recently I really appreciate your support so please keep it up and I'll keep up trying to produce more videos and more varied videos and videos of different subjects as we go along I don't just paint dogs I paint all kinds of different things I just love painting so um, hopefully you'll like watching them and you'll enjoy seeing different subjects as they come up and uh, sometimes I return to old favourites, so I've got a whole series on trees, a whole series on flowers, quite a few plein air pieces, and uh, I, I like to keep things varied. So I hope you do too, and I hope you tune in and see some of the films that I've made and look back at some of the older ones. Uh, I've got well over 50 on there now. So here's the final result, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.